What's happening everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo and today's going to be one of those videos where I'm going to be splitting it up kind of in two sections where one section is going to be just totally geeking out, being a total fanboy and being super, super excited for what's coming. Hence, Geese and Chrysalid. But the other side of this video is going to be a bit of a rant and that's what we're going to start with on this video because I want to end the video on a good note. And the rant is about this dice game. Now, originally, I thought this dice game was a pretty awesome thing. Because we could actually sit and farm all these dice throughout all the power-up dungeons, throughout just throughout all the games, throughout, throughout all the game modes in the game. And I've figured out that you have to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of AP to be able to do this. For me to be able to do 13 rounds of the dice game, I've had to spend thousands of AP. And I mean, I'm talking a ridiculous amount. So right now, I'm on the 14th round. You got to do 20 rounds before you get this dimensional invitation ticket. And this is what you want. You want this so you can level up a collab character. This is the equivalent of a fest memory for a character it's also the equivalent of taking three fest memories, combining them, and then you actually make this ticket. So you got to make 20 rounds, and we need to do six rounds. And again, you can farm for these things pretty much everywhere. Everywhere you see these little icons, you can see them from Epic Quest, Story Mode, and so on, and so on, and so on. But we'll go into the Power Up Dungeon just as an example. And I've been farming, you know, cores and elixirs, because those are the things that are going to help me the most. I don't need any gold, so I'm not farming gold. And I want you to look at how much AP I have. I have almost 10,000 AP. Almost 10,000 AP, my friends, right? We'll click down here. I got 706 clear tickets. 700. Now, the thing about this is we just had the seven deadly sins collab, right? Where people were spinning the living hell out of their freaking auto clear tickets where people were spending the living hell out of their AP, right, for the rush event. I mean, here recently, they've been draining our AP like crazy. And that's fine. You know, we need a place to use our AP. But this event is absolutely ridiculous. You know, originally, I thought it was a good thing. But when you start farming for these dice, you quickly realize that you're going to need an insane amount of AP. And that's exactly what we're doing. And, not, and on top of that, you gotta let your phone play for freaking hours and hours and hours unless you're using an emulator but you'll find that an emulator for kof actually crashes quite often so i actually have been farming on my phone and i just let my phone farm all night but your phones are going to get hot right and not everybody has a good device that's actually going to be able to run this game or any game all night without getting overheated right so it's not a real practical thing so they need to really, really address these kinds of things. They don't need to be doing this kind of stuff in the future. I think if I see a dice game like this again, where we got to farm, you know, an insane amount of dice to do 20 rounds around the, the dice board game, I'm probably going to complain about it because this is not good, guys. This is not good. And this is going to be proof right here. 10,000 AP, guys. 10,000 AP, right? And as far as, you know, how much dice you need, it's really RNG based and they do give you 300 dice a day, right? And that's good. But honestly, they should give you more. They should give you a lot more than 300 dice a day. And we're just about finished here. Okay. And that's it. So we pretty much used all of our AP. Now let's see how many dice we have. So we got 2,250 dice, right? I just used almost 10,000 AP. Almost 10,000 AP. We are on the 14th round, right? We got to do six more rounds. Let's see how many rounds this actually takes us. Okay. Now I'm just going to quickly click through this thing. We're not going to do it slowly. We're just going to quickly go through this, baby. Hopefully this emulator doesn't crash while I'm doing this. Oh, there's one round. 
Oh, can we make it another round? Hmm. And see, this is what I'm talking about, man. If you get all these rolls on dice, we're only getting like three and two. It's just ridiculous. And they only gave us eight days to be able to do this. This event, this event should have been freaking a month. This event should have been a much longer than just eight days. At least two weeks. At least at a minimum to give people the time to farm all of this stuff. Okay, now let's see how far we got. Now look at this. Oh my God, I did two rounds, guys. I did two rounds with 10,000 AP. 10,000, now look, look, look. Let's look at the average of that. Let's look at the average. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000, 90,000. 100,000, guys. That's an average of 100,000 AP. Now, I'm not saying you need 100,000 AP because it really depends on your luck. It depends on RNG, on how good your dice rolls are. But you just saw that I spent 10,000 AP and I only went two more rounds. That is freaking ridiculous. That is absolutely bullshit. And they should never do this again. If they're going to introduce these kind of dice games where we have to farm in the game, right? We do farm in the game modes. They need to either give us a whole lot more dice per round, guaranteed, or they need to give us a much longer time to farm these dice. Eight days isn't enough. The amount of dice that we're getting in these events isn't enough. And they're giving us 300 dice a day, but again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but it isn't enough. It's total bullshit, my friends. Netmarble needs to rethink these kinds of events and make sure that we have enough time to do this, even as a veteran, even as, even as a mini whale. This is extremely difficult for a player like me. I can only imagine how difficult it is for a lot of other players out there. So I just wanted to address that issue because I think it needs to be said. You know, again, initially, I thought it was a good idea, and it is a good idea, but it wasn't implemented very good. So Netmarble, either give us a discount on the amount of AP that we use in those events, give us more dice, give us a longer period to where we can farm those things, so that we are able to get those rewards in the... Now we're going to do a 180 and talk about something really special. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Freaking dope. Freaking dope. Okay. Let's back that up a little bit. Check out Chrysalid, man. Chrysalid looks pretty freaking dope. Got the red eyes going on. He's wearing his coat. He looks pretty dope, guys. I got to say, I think the Chrysalid fans are going to be really, really happy with this. I mean, it looks like everything is coming to fruition. We are getting Nightmare Geese and Chrysalid. And this is so freaking awesome. We knew this was coming, but we didn't have any idea what they look like. And now we know. So we got this version of Chrysalid. And we have this version of Geese. And holy God. Oh my God. Look at him, guys. Look at him. Look at his eyes. Look into my eyes. Look how freaking fantastic he is. This dude looks amazing. He got the broken cuffs. Oh my God, he looks so freaking vicious. Oh, Geese looks awesome. I'm loving it, guys. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. That was a, that was a happy grunts, what that was. I am so happy right now. And I, I mentioned a long time ago in videos that if we ever get Nightmare Geese, and I knew we would because this there was a figure of Nightmare Geese, dad of mine, months and months and months ago. And it's finally here. It is finally here, which shows... That Netmarble has been planning this for a long, long time. They've been planning this for a long time. I got to hand it to the dev team. This is fantastic. And I really hope we see some things from these characters like we saw with B.S. Orochi and B.S. Rugal. 
And if you take a look at these BS characters, they really are over the top. I mean, you look at their core effects, both of them, BS Rugal and BS Rochi, have 30% PG gain, which is absolutely insane, along with the leadership. Having the 50% PG gain rate is just insane because they do their ultimates very often. He's got the increased attack, the increased penetration, the gain 10% power. He's got the 50% chance to reset the cooldowns of Blast Active Skills upon landing his third skill, which is freaking awesome. He gains power just by guarding. Uh, he's got the interrupt skill on the hyper armor skill. I mean, he's got the chance to ignore guard. I mean, this character is freaking stacked. And then you look at freaking Rugal, right? You look at Rugal, and Rugal's, you know, also insane. Now, this is what I'm hoping for Geese. Now, what I'm kind of thinking is Crystal is going to be more set up maybe like BS Orochi, and I'm predicting that Geese will probably be more like Rugal, where... You're going to have these double attack sets. You have attacks down on first skill and have attack on third skill. And it could be, you know, the first and second. It could be the second, third, whatever. But have double attack. And characters that have these kinds of effects, especially like, you know, SS Mai, BS Rugal, of course, they are just top-notch when it comes to damage. Insane power, my friends. You know, Rugal's also got, you know, can has a 60% chance to, to remove the target's buffs which is freaking insane right so if they have hyper armor and he hits them with their hyper armor he can actually take it away he has a 40 percent chance to reset his hyper armor skill that also can be used while being attacked which is also nuts right he's got the 30 percent pg rate in his core and these are the things that we want to see from geese howard and from chrysalid we want to see these kinds of things you know, decrease target's damage dealt by 25% for 7 seconds. Increase their damage received by 25%. I mean, it's things like this is what makes these characters so strong. And I'm really, really praying that we're going to see the same thing for Geese and Chrysalid. And we should see that in all honesty. Come on. I mean, Geese, you know, it's hard telling what they're going to do. I mean, we have most of the supers already in the game. Uh, but... It's going to be interesting to see. It's also going to be, and I and I pretty much am predicting that we're going to be able to use, he's probably going to get a 3PG card, and we're probably going to be able to use his 3PG for him. And that's actually extremely exciting because this version of Geese, he's a decent character and he's got a lot of power. But because his super armor is on this freaking ridiculous 13 second cooldown, he just gets interrupted a lot. But having this dot explosion is insane. And this is something that I hope we do see on the new geese howard i hope we see dot explosion on him that would be fantastic and you can pretty much predict that nightmare geese will have darkness right think about it maybe he'll have darkness and maybe chrysalid will have fire damage we'll see but geese could have darkness and if he does and he has dot explosion that could be a hinder to him but as we found out with king from the seven deadly sins collab even though he has Explosion, he's actually still really, really good for Guild Raid. So it is possible that Geese could be too. And Chrysalid could actually get actual fire damage. The weird thing about Chrysalid is he has all of these skills. And a lot of them you see like fire animations. But he has no actual dot damage, which is weird. It's really strange that he hasn't, doesn't have dot damage. But I want you guys to think about something. If he gets a 3PG, just imagine how powerful this is going to be. The obtain 50% power and reset cooldown and active skills when HP is 40% or less on a 30 second cooldown. Just imagine how powerful that's going to be. It's already ridiculous on his 5PG. And if he has a 3PG, it's going to be even more insane for this character. Oh my God, he's just going to be over the top. I mean, we could get some kind of different leadership. We could get a, another PG rate leadership, like what we have with BS Orochi, right? We get another PG rate leadership like this. Maybe we could do, get some kind of like increase 65% to male type fighters from one of these fighters to give us a superb leadership, which would be pretty insane. There's a lot of different things they could do for them. But I'm just, I'm just expecting, in all honesty, I'm just expecting that Geese and Chrysalid are going to be on the same power level, if not better than BS Orochi and BS Rugal, which is a hell of a thing to say because 
B.S. Rugal is really one of the best characters in the game, top notch. In my opinion, the only character really better than him as far as PvE content is SS Mai, and that's not by a massive margin. It's just that her leadership is just insane for female fighters, and you just have the best teams for Guild Raid. But at the time of the recording of this video, there is no announcement of a live stream. We should be getting some kind of announcement for a live stream very soon to show off these characters since they are arriving on the 29th of this month. So let me know how you're all feeling about the Akane dice game. If you agree with the things that I've said, that Netmarble should really give us more dice or they should give us more time to be able to farm these events. And also let me know how excited you are for Nightmare Geese and Chrysalid. Freaking amazing. Oh my God. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.